Yo, what is going on, guys? Got a video here today from Man Guide. Let's just jump right into it. Don't forget to leave your own thoughts and comments. How did we get to the point where women are choosing careers over relationships and men are choosing solitude over relationships? At what point did we decide that being alone is more beneficial than being together with someone? It's really sad to see that more and more people, especially men, are checking out of dating and are giving up on finding their soulmate or finding a compatible partner to be with. And I think a lot of people forget that we are and we will always be stronger as a team, two people together. Two halves of a whole will always go further in life, faster in life and be happier in life than other people who choose to stay alone and be alone forever ah uh, yes guys just go out there find your soulmate get married and you will go further in life don't worry about that thing called divorce don't worry about the fact that men are only quote unquote loved for what they are providing you know just go out there get in a long-term relationship, get in a marriage, listen to the Disney movies, and your life will turn out totally fine. People don't want to acknowledge this, guys, but a lot of these situations um, don't really benefit men. Women are coming to the relationship table with an incredible level of entitlement, student debt, expectations, the list goes on and on. And what do they provide in return? Increasingly less. I think we can answer that in one word, actually, feminism. More accurately, loyalty requires work, and for women, submission. And that is a major blind spot. Women like this have good intentions for the most part, that is, if they're not selling something, which is common. But the thing they always overlook is that men have been the constant. We never changed. Modern women, however, have become so unrecognizable that their ancestors are rolling around in their graves. Here's the first set of comments. Toxic femininity. Third wave feminism and the Me Too movement happened. It was bad before this, but the third and fourth wave were a crazy accelerant. Ask feminists. Because men have realized it's not worth it. You find someone and fall in love, get married, she gets bored, cheats on you, blames you, divorces you, takes half of everything, takes the kids, making you pay for her to take your kids. Now you start dating and have to deal with rejection and hearing women say how men are disposable. It's a sad state of affairs, loneliness sucks, but it's emotionally safer. Yeah, this is exactly what I am talking about. Don't worry guys, just go out there, get married, Risk absolutely everything. Don't worry. It will be totally fine. Okay? I agree with this. Oftentimes, for men, not really worth it. This is why dudes go to other countries. This is why men are leaving these modern Western women behind. And this happens all the time. People will try and gaslight men. Oh, you know, everything's going to be fine. But the fact of the matter is there are a lot of women out there who get bored of dudes, cheat on them, blame you, divorce you, and do everything that this comment right here says. So no, I don't think I will go out there and be doing this. That goes for your wallet as well. I want a boyfriend, but I don't feel like dating. Does that make sense? Yes. No, it doesn't make sense. Listen, okay. Yeah. Oh, I was like, yes. Yes. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Listen, I want to be in a relationship, snap my finger right now, yeah. he's next to me. But I don't feel like, it, nor do I want to spend the energy dating, dating texting, so. playing it cool, looking perfect. Because that's like three months of just consistent yeah. trying to make someone because like, like you. It's like really exhausting. It's a lot. On so many dates, and then you have to decide when you can, you know, take the next step. And okay, then maybe this is only for us, and Chris can't understand. So pessimistic. Because do you know how long it takes us to get ready for a date? Probably a while, yeah. A very long time. It's exhausting. Exhausting. Yeah, so I'm just like it's a lot of effort for us. Chris, quit simping. Ladies, you're just plain wrong. Women are always going on and on about the arduous process of preparing for dates. Well, here's the truth. You're doing that to yourselves. Moreover, this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say loyalty and what it takes to strengthen it requires work. Something feminists just don't understand. Yeah, let me just pause it here. What these women want. Let me translate this. They want to be able to snap their fingers and have some provider guy there who's going to pay for everything and do everything she says, but she doesn't want to put anything in return. She doesn't want to give anything. That's what this is all about. These women have zero problem going out there and chasing Chad and putting on all their makeup and getting ready, blah, blah, blah. 
they, they have they have no problem chasing these men who are very attractive. They don't give a damn. However, the relationship material guy, they don't want to do all that, guys. They don't because he's just the provider man. You see. And I see these videos all the time. Oh, it takes so much, uh, you know, so long for us to get ready for a date. I honestly don't give a damn. I, I really do not care. It could take you three days to get ready for a date. This is not my problem. And just by the way, a lot of the reason why it takes women so long to get ready is because you put pounds of makeup on top of your face. Now, you know, you'll have women say, oh, but I have to look beautiful for the men and blah, blah, blah. Um... Men want women who are naturally pretty. I mean, they don't require this, but you put on all these pounds of makeup and this is your reason for being late. Not exactly going to inspire a lot of empathy, really. I mean, come on. If they think going out is work, how are they going to approach something like marriage, kids, house cleaning, etc.? Yeah, if you can't put in effort for a date, these women will never do anything kind for you, man. They don't even want to put effort into you to make a good presentation of themselves. What makes you think that these women will ever be relationship material? Can you imagine this woman ever actually trying to cook you dinner? I, I, can, I could not imagine that. Imagine you're a dude. You provide for everything. You're a hard worker. You come home. This woman's done nothing all day, you know? And her only job is to cook you food. I, I guarantee you she probably wouldn't do it. The whole set of complaints is one big red flag. And I got no doubt women are going to be in the comments to justify it. Oh, hell yeah. We all feel like her. We want the boyfriend, but we don't want to date. It's so annoying. Translation, I want a simp who's going to do everything for me, but I don't want to put any effort into him. Boom. Called it. And woman, stop lying. We all know about the $300 requirements you've been throwing out lately. Sounds like narcissism. Yep. Bingo. To be fair, the man puts in 80% of a relationship, it's not like she'd have to do much. Yeah, but you see, she should, and that's a huge part of the problem, the decline of expectations. All of that just to find out they were never even serious about you. 20,000 likes on this comment. Guys, can, can we just take a moment here to really appreciate just how stupid this is, okay? People will oftentimes say, oh, Taylor, or man guide, or whoever the video is, they're just selecting clips. They're very, being very particular about this. Okay, explain this nonsense. You have a comment here, 20,000 likes on it of people agreeing with this woman. And what this woman is describing is women entering situationships and finding out that the man never wanted anything serious with them. So you're hooking up with a dude and for, for who knows how long, and you find out that he's not even serious about you? Like, come on, man, come on. This is what women do, guys. They go out here, they enter talking phases or situationships, and I'm supposed to feel sorry for them because they gave their body up to some random dude who never wanted them? No, it's really, if, if you cannot secure a committed relationship from a man up front, you were never going to get it anyway, and it was never going to last. Let me just say that. 20,000 likes for women getting into situationships, guys. Let's reflect on that. Disgusting. Well, were you serious? I doubt it. I don't want to go give auditions. Well, then have fun with the cats. And it's not like any of us would show up to judge the performance anyway. It's yeah, guys, I can't wait to show up for auditions for modern women. I'm so excited. A girl made a video about this on TikTok, and it's put in the most simple terms. I would say every girl I know right now wants a man who is masculine and a leader. And obviously that comes with, like, asserting dominance and all these things. And all these women want this. But then no women want to listen. They don't want to listen to the leader. So they want the leader, but then they're not going to listen. And it's so funny because it really comes down to, like, not listening to them is not only just extremely demasculating to them it's like so why would they want to be with you they would go be with a woman who's more feminine and like willing to listen this is not like i'm not talking about controlling crazy guys i'm talking about this is what a strong man in his masculine is so it's like right so we want some chad to lead us this is what this is what it's all about by the way guys so 
you know, number one, modern women don't want to be led. I totally agree with this. They don't want to listen. They don't respect a man's opinion or guidance whatsoever, which is fine. Um, but maybe don't try and get in relationships with them. For example, guys, there are many people who I refuse to listen to because I think they're idiots. And so I just don't listen. But you know what? I don't get into relationships with those people, do I? Anyway, um, yeah, men will replace you and they will go find women who are nicer than you are. Um, on this point earlier, also, men always get called controlling for this. But by the way, there is leniency here. Women are far more likely to listen to you if you're very attractive. That's what, they, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? One guy, it's masculine and he's leading the relationship and blah, blah, blah. When another guy does it, oh, it's oppressive, it's controlling, et cetera, et cetera. Oftentimes, the difference is how you look. Now, modern women really don't listen that much anyway. So, you know, even the dudes who are super attractive, trying to get modern women to listen for an extended period of time, not really feasible, but you get my point. Hey, there's a reason why the statistics are saying that all you guys are going to be single and unmarried in the next like 20 years is because you're not listening. And based on the whole UK censorship battle, I'm not certain they will for at least another hundred years. Yeah, I'm so excited, by the way, right? Let me just put in perspective what this kind of nonsense means. Let's just say, for example, you have a girlfriend, okay? And you, tr you say, okay, we're going to go um this way we're going to a location but we're going to take this route so you just let her know you're the one driving and you say we're going to go this way and you're driving blah 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 and then the woman's in the passenger seat your girlfriend and she's like she's just ranting at you no don't go that way we should go this way instead we need to do this and the reason why this we're going this way it's like everything is a battle man Absolutely everything is a battle with modern women. You can't even drive a car and take your own directions to the location, right? You, you can't decide where to eat, but neither can she. So like all of these battles, man, are something that men are not interested in. Men don't want to have a second boss. They don't want to have somebody around them that contradicts everything they say or always has an opposing opinion, you know? Like, if, if they wanted these things, if they wanted extra headaches, they would just take on more work. They don't want their wife or their girlfriend to be functioning as a headache. When it comes to loyalty, men and women serve different roles. At least, that's what they're supposed to do. Men show loyalty through acts of service. Women show loyalty by submitting in exchange for said services. It's a symbiotic relationship that, for thousands of years, seems to be forgotten. And that's when civilizations usually go to die. The comments are, has been proven that single women are happier than married ones. So choose the single life, ladies. Get a cat or a dog. We don't discriminate. I agree with that. You know, go out there. Be happy, ladies. Go and get your cats and your dogs, right? That way, you're not a problem to some dude. I, I think this is a great idea, you know? The stats are proving that single women are happier. I, I think that... These women should not be discouraged from their life past, to be honest with you. I think all of the women that are headaches, I don't think that they should be in relationships. Go out there, collect your cats, and it'll be great because the men don't have to deal with you. You can be single and alone, so I get plenty of content and it's funny to laugh at. Everybody wins. That's a faulty stat, sweetheart. Good luck with the furry sweater and anti No, 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 don't, don't tell them. <laughs> don't tell them that this stat is a lie. Tell, <laughs> you know, single women are happier. Go out there. Don't, don't give away the game, man guide, all right? Presence. Can't have a leader if you can't listen. And that's exactly why women walked away. All of us men want is to be loved, appreciated, and respected, and we will give you the world. Interesting strategy, man, but I don't think you'll be finding it on the western end of the planet. She's listening. Half these ladies lost, but she listened. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. She was probably just farming content, to be honest with you. You know, a lot of these women, they don't actually give a damn about men. They haven't been through the same things as men. They don't genuinely empathize. They're just trying to collect simps on their Instagram pages. That now, I'm not saying that's true in this particular case, but that's pretty much what all of them do, to be honest. That's why I started looking in a third world country for a partner. The mental yep. gymnastics I used to go through during a simple conversation about the in-laws was unfathomable. Interesting. Anyway, next clip.
I won't settle. I'll just be single. My mom's single. My mom's been single. My mom raised me single, so I'll just stay single. By the way, that's a very genetic trait. <laughs> that's true. There, there's a book called... Uh, there, there, there's a book be called... Be single. No, no, it is. Be, no, no, how, how picky you are. There's a book by Barry Schwartz, one of my mentors. He's a professor. It's called The Paradox of Choice. Mm. People get f***ed up when they think they have too much choice, but nobody has as much choice as you think. Wow. But it's genetic. Some people, that he calls them maximizers or satisficers. Maximizers are always looking for better and they're not going to settle till they find the best satisfies modern women realize time is short and so it's like you got to marry something especially for giving birth to babies like for men and women you got to pop them out because nature don't give a shit about culture all right the lamborghini boy is using a lot of entrepreneurial lingo so here in my garage i read this book and the book says that there are maximizers and i don't even know what the other word was um but you know these women who never settle they want to go out there, stay in the streets until they find someone who meets all of their standards. Again, I think that these women should stay in the streets. I don't think they're relationship material at all. Lamborghini boy is using a lot of entrepreneurial lingo, so I'll translate. Single moms raise single moms. This woman, unlike a lot of chicks we see here on Man Guide, is just saying the quiet part out loud. She was raised by a woman who lacked loyal fiber, and so she adopted a lifestyle that emulates the same exact thing. And the result will be wrinkles and cats. And maybe an empty Tinder profile. It's hard to say what kind of crazy will manifest, but it'll undoubtedly be just that. Crazy. Here are the top comments, boys. Blah, blah, blah. Single mothers raise single mothers. <laughs> Yeah, true. That's essentially what was just said right there. You have a, dis a dysfunctional family, particularly the women, right? You grow up without a father figure in the picture. Um, you're essentially just going to grow up and become just as dysfunctional. Yep, exactly what I was thinking. 304 mothers raise 304 daughters. It is at this point a tale as old as time. Stop shaming people for wanting to be single. It's their choice. It's not about being single, man. It's about what one does when they are single. And this chick is racking up a body count, no question. What are you called if you try to get as many people pregnant as possible? A chad. I don't see a problem with keeping your standards and choosing to be single if you don't meet the guy. Guys be triggered by women wanting to be single is hilarious. No, I think this is great. I, I think, again, guys, I really think that these women should keep their standards sky high. Um, I think that their Prince Charming is just around the corner. I think, hey, guys, I'll take it as far as this. If you're like a 70-year-old woman and you still have not found your Prince Charming, don't worry, he's just around the corner. Keep your high standards. Maybe 71, 72, maybe, you know, in five years, you'll meet your Prince Charming. Um, I see nothing wrong with this logic. I think it's a great idea. Um, and I don't think that these women... You know, guys, I, I think that women are, you know, they're stunning and brave and empowered and all of that. So I think they deserve the best. Uh, so go out there and continue to keep these high standards. But apparently men are triggered by this, guys. We're, we're very, very triggered. It is, but not for the reasons you might think, lady. Next clip. Your future husband is never going to be the guy who leaves. I have a question for my married girlies. Go in the other room and turn the volume down. Is the man that you marry your absolute soulmate? Is it the man that just sets you on fire, the most passionate, intense love, literally the love of your life? Yeah, you're hopeless. Um, you've been infected by the streets. It is, it is too late for you. So the, what these women don't realize is that you can never be in a happy marriage because you've been with too many dudes. What's going to happen here is anytime you have a long-term relationship, if you're this woman, anytime you have a long-term relationship or a marriage or something like this, it will never work because you will always be thinking of some other option. That's why you can't make it work. That is why you're not relationship material. I mean, one of many different reasons, okay? Your husband is not there to set your world on fire every single damn day. People who are successfully married for very long periods of time, they have days where they don't like each other very much. They have good days, they have bad days, okay? But they have committed to the other person. It is a duty, it is a responsibility, and it takes something that it is something that takes consistent effort. These women are always looking to upgrade. 
there's always going to be some dude out there who's more attractive or who makes more money or whatever the case may be. Now, if you want to go out there and you want to continue to chase these men and these butterflies, then that's fine, but you're not relationship material. Or is the man that you marry just the person that you settle for because he was safe and would make a good husband? Let me know in the comments. I love how she makes this video like she made a good point. All that this video displayed is that you've hooked up with a bunch of dudes, so you can't be satisfied with any man anymore. That's all that this displays. Jesus, these chicks look like something out of a Tim Burton movie. Regardless, <laughs> if this short clip isn't an example of a damaged that compass, is a brutal comment. I don't know what is. I mean, this woman just came out and said that safe and stable is a red flag. This is exactly what people mean when they say chicks are dominated by a sense of boredom. And sometimes that's all it takes for some of them to put an end to a family life and ruin everything. All because TikTok told them to do so. Here are the comments. I heard once that your soulmate won't give you butterflies or set your soul on fire because when you're with them, it feels right, like they've always been there. This is true, and it's also why arranged marriages are always more effective. It has to be practical, not romantic. We settle for y'all, ma'am. Men marry who's in front of them. Okay, but, I mean, a bit of a mixed bag, buddy. You should never settle in that way, and marrying in the West at all is a death sentence. I never understood the term settled. Who settles for stability, comfort, and someone who cleans up the house? Sounds like a deal for me. That makes one out of five million. Wives think they weren't settled for? You think you're really his dream woman for real? <laughs> they always do. Another one. Ladies. Yes? If he's not offering to pay for your manicure pedicure, and why exactly should he be paying for that? One's own personal beauty maintenance should be one's own personal responsibility. Really, what is he doing with that money? Oh, I think I know the answer to this one. He could be paying his bills, paying his rent or his house payment, saving away for his retirement. You know, doing something useful with his money. Or, let me just say this. I think a man is better off doing something completely useless with his money. I think that if, if you were to have the money for a pedicure for this woman or whatever the hell she was looking for, or your option B was to set the money alight. Setting the money alight would probably give me more enjoyment. And by probably, I mean definitely. Because that's essentially what you're doing anyway. The, guys, these women, I, I want to make this clear, okay? I understand that this is kind of a skit. I really do. This woman's jumping on here. She's making a skit. But the problem is, it's not funny. Um, and there are a lot of women who do believe this. I think that deep down, this woman actually does believe this. Maybe not even so deep down. But the point in the, of these videos is, listen, if a man's not providing for you, what's he doing there? And this is a sentiment that's shared by a lot of modern women. Okay? And the unfortunate thing is, for them at least, is that men don't like to feel like we are ATMs. So these little skits that you do, you might think that they're hilarious. They're incredibly cringe. And I think men are better off literally burning any funds that they have as opposed to spending them on you. But let's continue with the video here. Because you deserve your nails done. And he should be paying. Is anyone else getting the feeling that a lot of these so-called independent women really aren't independent at all? And if he hasn't gotten the hint by now, just send him this video. Just give him a little sign. A wake up call. Well, that'll be your girlfriend or your wife sends you that video. Throw her out, guys. Be quite a wake up call. Quite a doozy, in fact, I'd imagine. Just imagine getting sent this video, only to realize that you're not actually with someone who wants to be with you because of who you are, but what they can get out of you, sponging off of you, so that they can get the things paid for that they want. What a great way to find out that one is not in a great relationship. Unfortunately, it was all too common. Not too long ago. See, this is the problem with the loyalty collapse. Women don't want power as much as they want the illusion of power. They love the idea of being a girl boss in the corner office on the hill, but as soon as they get it, they're miserable. Yeah, it's not because the illusion or not the illusion. They just don't want any responsibility that comes along with it. They want the money, they want the power, they just don't want any responsibility or effort that comes along with those things. Um, yeah, that's just, that's just the way it is, man. So many of these women, they want those CEO positions, they want to be 
respected career women, uh, but they are completely awful at their careers, for example. But guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, remember to leave your own thoughts and comments. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace.